been salivating. Jennifer Valentine is not the only one eating this morning. We've got awesome hamburger grill tips for you right now. This is the restaurant. It's called The Works, and they live up to their name with over 70 hamburgers to choose from. Vegetarian, there's salads, you name it, they have it. Here is the grill master from The Works. Chris Defner, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Actually, I'm having a great time today. We got some delicious products, delicious burgers, all out on the table here for you guys. Uh, but really, what I want to what I want to bring forward is some amazing grilling tips, so everyone at home can cook like a pro. Let's take a look before we get grilling at some of the items you feature. Extremely unique. For example, peanut butter and peanut butter, jack cheese, crispy bacon on top of it. Very, very adventurous burger, but very tasty. It's one of those that the minute that you try it, you'll never go back. Unbelievable. This one is? This one, chili, Canadian cheddar cheese, sour cream, and we call it the uh, the whole enchilada. Of course. <laughs> right? This one looks like it has a lot of Spanish influence as well. Absolutely. So this one, great little play on the name. It's called the nacho burger. Nice. So nacho burger, fried tortilla rings, fire roasted cheese dip, oh. avocado, and a nice kind of blend of tomato garlic on top It's of it. not Joe's, it's mine. <laughs> what about, this is the BT, I didn't even know you had a BT burger. And this is the BT burger, BT breakfast burger right there. That's a bright idea. Little salt, a little pepper, so there's egg. There's, there's egg, tomato, again with that great Canadian cheese on top of it, crispy bacon, a little bit of mayo on the bun. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. There's deep fried pickles. I'm going to try that later. This is called WTF, which stands for? We'll take four. We'll take so four. it's a great appetizer off of our summer menu. And actually, a lot of the items on this table are items off of this summer menu. So we'll take four of the deep fried pickles. We got two beautiful salads. See in Tower of Rings. See in Tower of Rings. And what we actually do with those salads is boom, we're going to add a burger to it. We're putting an elk patty on that one. We're putting a chicken patty on this one. What is this? We got some gourmet milkshakes as well. Mm -hmm. That one's got some amazing fudge sauce, Oreo crumbs, oh. Canadian vanilla ice cream. Delicious. Okay, now, if you can't visit the works today, you're gonna obviously be inspired to make your burger tonight. This is what you're gonna do. You get your grill nice and hot. So actually, I'm gonna get oh. you, we're gonna switch it up a bit. I'm gonna get you to build the BT burger here while okay. I run through some grilling tips. So first off, what you want to do is have a nice fatty ground beef. A lot of people think that it's that it's you want to go lean, but actually yeah. your fat is your flavor. Okay. So it's really important. Have some fatty ground beef. You want about 20% fat. Next step, get a really hot grill. So you're working with a grill that's about 650 degrees, and that's that's going to make a nice sear on top of the burger, which you can see with those nice grill marks. Gorgeous marks. You're getting a nice sear. It's not like it's just cooking in its own juices delicious looking burger. Only flip it once. Only flip it once. So what you want to do is rotate to get your nice grill marks. About, let's say, three minutes per side. That's an eight ounce Canadian beef burger right there. Flip it over, grill marks again. Another three minutes, bring it up to about 150, 155. Throw it in your oven, put some toppings on it. But wait, this is the controversy. I tweeted it last night. Okay. Stop squishing your burgers. When you make it, you don't squish it. And when you cook it, you don't squish it. You Why? You definitely do not want to squish these puppies. Because you got all this delicious, beefy flavor, fatty goodness. Everything that's great about a burger is inside of there right now. And the minute that you start squishing it or poking at it or, or doing anything else, you're just drawing the product out. Okay, very cool. For more information, Excellent. everybody, make sure you head down to one of their many locations. There's a couple, actually, we could tell you about right now on the Danforth as well. Two new locations, Bloor West Village, Bloor Street West, and the beach, as well as Queen Street East. WorksBurger.com, at WorksBurger. I have never had... A deep fried pickle. Jen just had something at the CE that they're featuring this year. It's a deep fried bacon Mars bar. With oh syrup. my God. Jen, I got you with the deep fried pickle. Oh. Tammy, it's Tammy. Mmm. <laughs> Tammy, what can I save you? I know you're going to want some lunch. Thank you. No worries. That's good. Mm. Dina, you need to save me a burger for sure. And Eva as well, because I know she's getting hungry up there checking traffic.